Hint, you should choose to reject the surrender. You're damn right I'm going to reject the surrender. We'll fight the last man. Hello everybody, Grace still plays. And check this out right here. This is a brand new beta game coming out on early access on Steam on April 21st, 2016. This is Halcyon 6. I was lucky enough to get a copy of this to be able to play for you guys, and I am so thankful. Let me just tell you something right now. Now, you guys probably know that I like simulation games, and you guys probably know that I like RPG games, but there's one other type of game that I love, and that is futuristic space games. If you put them all together, I'm not sure what'll happen. My head might explode. Now, this type of game here is a role-playing game in the classic sense, but there is a lot of, I don't know what to say, just game mechanics kind of rolled into one. I'm really curious how well it will meld together. Guys, you know, this is the type of game you just need to press new game and let's get right into it. Now, you can tell Halcyon 6 obviously has kind of that, that pixelated old school Final Fantasy 4 style look to it. And I love that. That is totally fine for me. Welcome to Halcyon 6. Where would you like to start? Well, let's start with the introduction, I guess. Play from the beginning of the game. Yes, I think that we would like to play from the beginning. It's always best to start at the beginning. For half a millennium, the spacefaring races of the galaxy fought and conspired against one another for supremacy. But it was the Terran Federation, through the ingenuity and bravery of its officer class, that ultimately prevailed. Through the discovery and utilization of ancient artifacts left over from a long-dead precursor alien race, they put an end to the disastrous series of wars between the factions. One of these precursor artifacts is your home, Halcyon VI. The crown jewel of the Terran precursor discoveries, the Starbase acts as a Federation's home base in the Halcyon Sector, commanded by Admiral, oh god in heaven, Brema Charandra, the Federation's most decorated officer and protected by the 12th Fleet, the Starbase is permanently staffed with a variety of Federation officers with the mission of unlocking its mysteries. Today, however, the station has received some unwelcome news, a garbled hypercast ordering the 12th Fleet's return to the Federation space, with the intention of returning as soon as possible to continue the work of the experiment. Admiral Bremichandra leaves you in charge of the station. So here we go. This is, like I said, a little bit of everything. This is a management game, a role-playing game, a turn-based combat game. Oh man, I don't even know how much there is to this. So here we go. It looks like we're preparing for warp here. Admiral, we've arrived at the rendezvous point and there's no sign of the welcoming force. No hypercast signals detected either. Think we're early? Well, I don't know about that, buddy. Admiral Bremachandra. Bremachandra. All right, I'm going to get that name right. Broaden your signal detection, Captain. The 4th and 8th fleets are expected to join us as well, and those Titan-class ships should be hard to miss. Admiral, I'm picking up something. Definitely not Federation in origin. Like some kind of... Whoever it is, it's getting stronger, sir. I've never seen anything like this before, sir. Some kind of portal. Admiral, I'm suddenly getting multiple ship readings all heading in our position. They must be coming out of that thing. Oh, here we go, boys! Unknown hostiles, I repeat, unknown hostiles. We might have to get a little creative here. I love creativity, and thus, we are in the middle of our first combat. Click on the highlighted button to attack with the incisor beam power. Incisor beam, go. Target the spiked alien. Well, they all have some spikes, but this one is called spiked alien. We have spiked alien, ocular vessel, and shitness monster. Let's go with the spiked alien with our incisor beam. And it looks like a direct hit. We have another ability here called the backstab maneuver. That's interesting. Backstab maneuver for a spaceship. That's pretty interesting. We're like, we're, mul we're melding different genres here. Your classic fantasy style with this space fairing style. Let's go ahead and click on the ocular vessel and see what it does. Oh, it straight jumps behind him and smacks him in the back. Oh, the ship is disabled. That's fantastic. Select drone swarm attack. 
Ooh, that does a lot of damage. Look at this, Dreadnought Ram. Hell yeah. But I guess we're going to be using the Drone Swarm. I assume that attacks a little bit of everything? Oh, it sure does. Now, it looks like it's resisted. Sometimes units can resist attack effects. Higher resistance stats... Higher resistance stats to, to an effect can make the resistance more likely. Got it. Oh, we're getting hit with something, boys. Chaos charge. Don't know what that is. The middle ship seems to be powering up a large attack. Protect your allies with a group protection power. Ah, we have something here. Protective field. All allies go. Captain, activate the protective field. Oh, yeah, just like that. Oh, it's it's just like it's like the rapture. The beam of light is coming down. We're ready to go. Bridge shot number three. The large enemy ship in the middle is momentarily stunned. Bridge shot does extra damage against stunned enemies. Now, right here, it looks like we can see the different status effects that these ships have, and we can see right here that this ship is disabled. So let's go ahead and use the bridge shot to the ocular vessel. Combos occur when a power does bonus damage against a ship affected by a specific status effect. Oh yeah, that was some good damage. Looks like we got some some damage incoming. Now we've taken we've definitely taken some some hits to our shields here and possibly even the framing of the ships at this point. What do we have here? Acid bombs. Select the acid bombs ability. Acid bombs incoming. How do you like those for breakfast? Oh, what is this? Oh no, engines down! Vulnerability exploited! Holy crap, we're taking fire from all sides here! When ships are badly damaged, use the repair power like Cauterize Hull. Yeah, Cauterize Hull, alright. Well, I guess we'll be healing this guy since he's the lowest. Go ahead and put that hull back together, Lieutenant Rogers, and be quick about it. Select the strafing run power. I remember what this does. Let's do it again. Yes, man down! That's what I like to see. Who else do we have here? Commander McLaren. Select the repair drone overdrive power. What does that do? I guess it repairs us? That may be what this ship's ability is. I'm not really sure. It's definitely repairing. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Overdrive. Crew panicked. What happens when the crew panics? The ship's crew is panicked and it is at minus 100% evasion. Use the ninja's doom cannon! <laughs> the doom cannon! Oh, this ship is called the ninja! And we have paladin and warlock. They actually have old school RPG fantasy names. Yes! Doom cannon incoming, subsucker! Chew on that! Oh, it's like a supernova. I'm loving it. Oh, we turned him to a Oh no, man, down! What happened? Combat sometimes results in a sacrifice for the greater good. Best learn this now. Holy crap! No, our, our, our men! They're being destroyed! Use the Warlock Stasis Lock. What does that do? Single enemy. Oh, locks down an enemy. I like it. You're not going anywhere, buddy. It's just like Confuse. Or, or I don't know, I guess maybe more like Freeze? Or, I'm thinking, I'm thinking too old school. Dreadnought Ram. Use the improved use the Paladin's improved ram. You got it. Sir? Don't mind if we just ram our ship straight into you, do you? Turn to space dust. Excellent. Oh, and this guy died from the blast! Admiral, we're picking up more of those portals on the sensor. Commander Rogers, tell me all about it. Oh god. Oh, they're appearing everywhere, guys. What are we gonna do? We're being surrounded. Admiral Brecker, Brecker, <laughs> Bremacondra. Admiral, we need to jump now. Back to Halcyon 6. I've got, oh no. Whenever someone pauses mid-sentence during an important climactic event, that usually means that the giant mothership has appeared. Oh God. What is that? That thing. Jump now, for God's sake. Jump now. Commander? We seem to have lost our hypercast link with Admiral Bremichondra and the 12th Fleet. Halcyon 6, Starbase Commander. Act 1. Man, what an intro! With the 12th Fleet destroyed and little information as to whether the Federation still even stands, you and your crew are stranded in hostile alien, alien territory. 
cut off from resupply and in desperate need of more crew. You have little choice but to continue working on Admiral Brekamandra's experiment to try and unlock the power of the station. Meanwhile, enemies may soon catch wind of the Federation's weakness and use that as an opportunity to strike and claim the station for themselves. Choose your first officer! So we have some potential choices to make here. We have Lucas Beaumont, Corbin Lau, and Ishold Freehold. Oh, that's kind of redundant. Let's take a look at what they have here. We have Spin Maneuver, which damages all enemies. We have Exploits Weapons Disruption. Oh. Warp Atomic Structure, single enemy, damage 80%. Holy cow, inflicts hull breach and vulnerable. And then Siphon Dark Matter. Ooh, Siphoning Dark Matter, Dark Matter Extraction, vulnerable. Formerly a prestigious academian, academician at the new Car Kick University, Lucas Beaumont elected to leave its relatives safely to join Federation Commander after losing a debate with himself in a series of dreams he had. After tinkering with some meta-universal barrier weak spots, at least he thinks it was himself. Nonetheless, he's found that being in likely death situations help cure him of his somewhat crippling, crippling social awkwardness, even in way... In ways that even the best Adreno stims can't replicate. Over here we have Corbin Lau, Tactical Man. Fire at Will, a single damage ability. We have Dimensional Flashbang. Oh, that sounds interesting. Crew Panic and Sensors Offline. And then we have Into the Fray, a single enemy attack that appears to inspire allies. Oh, that's interesting. Corbin Lau was born aboard the TFS Tamerlane. In the middle of a warp jump, leading him gaining the dreaded epithet Warp Baby. <laughs> which followed him from kindergarten through academy prep. His deep-seated resentment to that fact has led him to cultivate an almost impossibly optimistic disposition. While his inner thoughts are left only to himself and to the counselor aboard his ship under his command. And then finally, we have an engineering person here, a sold freehold. We have Broadside Salvo 1, a single, an a single enemy damage attack. Quite a bit of damage on that one. Salvage Harpoon, which does uh, additional single damage, and it looks like it inflicts sensors offline. And then we have Repair Drone Overdrive, and it's a heal ability. Oh, very interesting. Considered a technological prodigy at a young age, Ishold Isho Freehold at the age of five was the youngest student ever admitted into the academy of engineers. At 16, she purposefully disfigured herself, transplanting some home-cooked cyborg appendages to keep parts of her anatomy, leading to several psych evaluations, which she, with the help of her newfound processing power, passed with flying colors. Holy cow! So it looks like we have kind of like a healer, a warrior, and I guess like a mage? Let's go ahead. I usually like the healing classes the most, so I'm going to go ahead and pick her. So now we have our captain here, Miss Freehold, starting difficulty hard. Engineers, engineering officers are the toughest and mechanically minded officers in the Federation. Their power repertoire often consists of damage over time attacks, hard hitting attacks, and taunt attacks, while buffs often protect itself from harm. In space combat, engineering officers are able to command engineering ships, which have the toughest hull of the three class ship types. Let's see what else we have here. So if we click on this guy, what is he? He's the normal difficulty. Tactical officers are the most daring and quick thinking officers in the Federation. Their power repertoire consists of sneak attacks, immobilization attacks, combo attacks, while their buff powers can often aim and damage boosts friendly units. In space combat, tactical officers are able to command tactical ships, which are the hardest hitting of the three ship types. And then we have Lucas here, and he's starting difficulty as very hard. Oh, science officers are the most creative and academically brilliant officers in the Federation. Their power repertoire often consists of area effect attacks, quick hitting attacks, debuffing attacks, while their buff powers can heal or protect friendly units in space combat. Science officers are able to command science ships, which are the fastest hitting of the three class ships. All right. So let's go ahead and click on this one. The starting difficulty is hard, so it's in between normal and very hard. I think this should be pretty neat. Sorry to wake you, Commander, but it looks like we have a situation. Tell me all about it. 
Our sensors have picked up a fleet incoming from our, <laughs> our sensors have picked up a fleet coming our direction. The signal suggests a pirate origin. We should expect them to arrive here in 48 hours. In the case of hostilities, the experiment may be our only hope to defend ourselves. The crew will work around the clock to make the necessary preparations. Excellent. Commander, the incoming fleet we've detected has just entered our space. It's a single pirate ship, likely hostile. Patching them through now. Federation Starbase. Uh, we have Rarzub Toe Slicer McCormick. <laughs> what a name. Our scouts detected the departure of your fleet over a week ago. You're now at the mercy of Admir of Admirax Zeb and the Zealots clan. Hand over the Starbase and we'll allow you to return to Federation Space. Comply or we will commence orbital bombardment. Really? This is the scenario screen. This screen will appear during missions that require key decisions, such as attacking, retreating, or using an officer to gain a special outcome. In this case, the pirate fleet is demanding your surrender. Choose the response below. Hint! You should choose to reject the surrender. You're damn right I'm going to reject the surrender. We'll fight to the last man! I forgot you Federation- you Federalists love your precursor toys. Prepare for bombardment, Federation scum. Bring it on, subsucker. Commander, in light of the development, we should now begin initializing the experimental starship creation process. Tell me all about this process. Click on the ship construction button. I will do so. The night class engineering vessel is currently the only starship the starbase is able to build. Click on it to select it. All right. Now click on Build Ship button to get the process started. Will do. Ah, it's in the queue here. Two days. This starship will take this many days to build. All right. To skip time, you first need to return to the star map. Click on the star map button. Here it is up here. Click here to skip time. I will do so. Apparently their bombardment is not going to happen right away. <laughs> That's good. Commander, we're ready to launch. Excellent. Commander, the experiment was a su success. All scans suggest this newly constructed ship to be combat ready. She just requires an officer to command her. Well, we have just such an officer. Officer Freehold, you're going into the night. Select your first officer. To dispatch the ship, you'll need to return to the star map by clicking here. Very well. The enemy fleet is stationed at the starbase approach. Click here now. The approach to the starbase. Enemy, any enemy fleets wishing to bombard Halcyon 6 will likely take this exact position. Click the send fleet button to dispatch a fleet to this location. Excellent tutorial so far, guys. Since you currently have no fleets, you'll need to form a new one. Click on send new fleet. Will do. Click on the, click on the top. Click on the top select a ship slot to add your newly built ship to your first fleet. Now click on your knight ship to add it to the fleet. Will do. Finally, click launch fleet to dispatch your fleet to the selected locations. Hmm, only one ship and we're going in against the pirates, huh? The pirate ship swoops into attack position. Attack! Alright, so we have one pirate ship that we're up against. We have a couple of abilities here. Flak Barrage, Deconstruct, and Shock Mine. So let's go ahead and try and do some combos here. Let's see what we can do. We have Hull Breach. I don't really think that we have anything here that creates any sort of combo. So let's start with Deconstruct. Ah, the hull is breached. All right, we've taken a little bit of damage, but I'm not too worried about it. When the hull is breached, taking a total of 117 damage over three rounds, I like that. Let's go ahead and inflict engines down with a couple of hard-hitting shots. Ugh, come on! What is this? They're attacking the Halcyon, are they? Well then, we'll have to do Shock Mine. Keep the pressure on, boys, and make sure that their crew is never able to rest. Victory on our side. We've got some rewards, materials, and dark matter. And it looks like dark matter, most likely, is what we'll be using to build things up. Looks like our new ship held up pretty well, though I doubt that's the worst we'll face. Commando, we have a long-range hypercast coming in, putting it through now. From time to time, the various leaders of factions may contact you via the station bridge. 
Oh, look at this guy. He's got a big gap in between his teeth. I don't believe we've met. Feel free to refer me as refer to me as the Admirax. <laughs> okay. A title that denotes my supreme command over the pirate clans in this sector. Now, Commander, or should I say Acting Commander, my spies tell me I should congratulate you on your new post. They've also informed me that your fleet has fled the sector, leaving you on your own. And so I'm giving you the courtesy of informing you that we'll be visiting you very soon. As this is my territory and your station now belongs to me. And unlucky for you, I've united all the pirate clans to come help me take it. I highly suggest you turn tail and return to Federation space. If you and if you are of another mind, stay where you are and prepare for your deaths. Well, buddy, I hate to tell you, but we're not going to be sitting around on our thumbs and dying like pigs. Time for death, Federation pig. Oh, that's funny. I just mentioned this. Chez Slob Choker Grunwald. What is this? I will avenge the death of Rarzub Toe Slicer and deliver the station to the Admirax. I'm sorry, what? I can't hear you. These massive death cannons I'm warming up are really loud. Yes, Miss Free, hold. Don't hold back. Let's see what we have here. Let us begin with the shock mine. Ah, ship disabled. That's exactly what I wanted. And now that the ship is disabled, let us go ahead and... Let's go ahead and flak barrage it. Ah, an excellent hit. Spray and pray is their ability. How in the world are they hitting me with that? Well, that's because they're spraying and praying. Deconstruct looks like a good idea. Pathetic. It'll do some damage over time, if I remember correctly. Oh, we're taking actually quite a bit here. Hull breach. Hmm, looks like the hull was not breached. Let's go ahead with our flak barrage then and see if we can get this guy down and out. Yes, the Shiv Mark 1 is turned into nothingness and we'll be taking that dark matter for our own and using it in our peanut butter and jelly sandwiches because it's so delicious. Ah, the hull is breached. Guess what I like to hear. The ship is now taking damage. How about a little bit of this? Yes, ship disabled. That means that we get our turn back and a nice flak barrage should put them on their ass. Bam! Now that I'm starting to learn how the abilities of this ship work, we're doing pretty darn good. Well, it looks like we'll have no shortage of charred metal for the time being. Yes, Miss Freehold, you're completely correct. You can always return your fleet to the star base by first clicking on your desired fleet and then clicking on the return home button. Commander, the crew is eager to regain our full sensor capabilities, but to do that we require an extra source of energy. The good news is that the text research team has figured out a way to harness the station's core reactor with a smaller standard issue, Dithurium Reactor. Ah, Dithurium Reactors, I'm glad to hear it. Click on the tech research button to go to the tech tree. Holy cow, that's a lot of tech boys. Click on the Dithurium Reactor tech, I will do so. Starbase room, Dithurium Reactor, tech research on how to build a Dithurium Reactor on Halcyon 6 to power the Starbase. It generates plus 20 power. Research it! Looks like we have plenty to spend. With the Dithurium Reactor tech research, it's time to create a space in the station for the reactor itself. To the Starbase! Click on the ruined room below. Oh, a ruined room. What is this? This is a ruined section of Halcyon 6. It must be cleared away before anything can be built here. Time required three days. We'll have to assign an officer. His hold looks like you're going to be doing quite a bit these days. Clear this place out. Get your, bro your, your mop and your broom and start scrubbing. To time skip, return to the star map. And then click here. I remember this. Yes, time. Time is of the essence and it's moving quite quickly. Your exploration team has successfully cleared the room. The Dithurium Reactor produces in, produces an additional 20 power per day. Now that the room is cleared, select the Dithurium Reactor. And then click Construct. Return to the star map. Alright, so it takes four days to make that and then skip time. I kind of figured that would be coming. So we're on day 12, so we have to get all the way to day 16 to make sure that our reactor is up online, and here we go. Commander, the Dithurium Reactor is now online. Show location or acknowledged? Acknowledged. The station is fully powered, Commander, and our sensors are back online. 
We've compiled a navigational map of all the Federation systems and facilities. As loyal members of the Federation officer class, it is our duty to protect these facilities at all costs. In the case of the attack, these facilities will transmit distress signals to us. Depending on the level of danger in the area, you may wish to evacuate them. Ooh, distress signals will always be listed in the mission panel. Click here to access it. Will do. Distress refinery ghost head. Oh, what is this? Send your fleet to the nearby nebula. I guess I'll do that. Type nebula. Nebulae contain pockets of rare gas that can be refined into warp fuel. Distressed refinery. At the fuel refinery at Ghost Head Nebula is calling for help against a never-before-encountered alien vessel. Well, boys, I think we're going to go ahead and stop the episode at this point. But I hope you're enjoying it. Man, there is a lot of stuff to do. Um, man, can we even get out of this? I wonder if I can even click off of this for the time being. No, I can't. Well, then what I'll do is cut her for here, and I'll pick up next time. Until then, stay foxy and much love.